I forgot one thing. I forgot to show you how to put in the call out. <clears throat> so this one here, we're going to bend up 90 degrees. So I'm going to go to leader. Click on this. Come over here and I'll type in all caps CLB for center line bend. B up for bend up. 90 degrees, which is alt <clears throat> 248 to get the degree symbol. I know that, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> I did a Google search for doing alt codes. <clears throat> I like to do the math alt codes, and it's this first one here. It tells me my alt codes, alt, <clears throat> 248 gives you your degree symbol. Okay, so that's the one I want is my degree symbol using Alt 248. I just simply did a search by typing in Alt codes, and I like the ones for math. So <clears throat> if you want to put any of these symbols in there, these are the Alt codes to get that in there. Most common ones used is the degree Alt 241 for the plus or minus for tolerance, and then also Alt 178, 179 for square and cube. So I use those a lot. Um, in your math class, you probably learned some of these. So if you don't remember the alt codes, just do a search for alt codes, and you'll get those in there. And <clears throat> so I did alt 248 to get the 90 degrees, and then you got to type in whatever radius you have. Uh, I'm just making up an eighth of an inch, but. Ideally, you'll know on your part. You could have a leader go to the right, a leader go to the left, or you could kind of shove it over this way and have it go to the right. Okay. <clears throat> I'll do one more time just for fun here. Do your uh, text with the leader. Okay. And you can hit F1 if you don't remember how to do this or you want more written clarity. I click on this one and I pick this line here. What? Pick this line here. That's my center line bend. I'll come over here, click, and type in <clears throat> center line bend down. So bend down 90 degrees, Alt 248. <clears throat> Uh, got my 90 degree symbol by radius 0.125. Just kind of move this back over here. Whoops, whoops. I want to leave those shoulders the default length as much as I can and then grab this text and move this text over. The only thing left to do is add the OMLs, add the title below. And that's your drawing for a sheet metal part. All right. One of the nice things about the sheet metal part is I don't have so much dimensioning I have to do. It's all being cut out according to what's on the drawing. So they're literally working right off the drawing. In many cases, what you'll see is a grid, a 10-inch grid on that. And it helps them uh, mark the part and identify the length and where they're going to start and cut and such. <clears throat> All right, that's it. Hopefully you can uh, now create a drawing for your sheet metal parts.